before I share our cottage life here in Denmark, I want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video, which is Premium Jane CBD Oil. I've been taking Premium Jane CBD for over two years now, and I absolutely love their products, especially their CBD gummies, which are vegan, and the peach, lime, and chocolate mint flavored oils. One of the reasons that I choose to live in a rural cottage far, far away from the city is that I have anxiety and I love being tucked away in nature, away from other people and the busyness of the cities. But the reality is that sometimes I have to venture out into the real world and having CBD oil that helps me feel calm and anxiety free is really important and Premium Jane does that for me. Whenever I'm feeling stressed or if I know I'm going into a situation that might cause me anxiety, I just take half a dropper of CBD oil and it usually lasts me the entire day. So thank you so much to Premium Jane for supporting not only my mental health, but also my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in trying their CBD oil yourself, you can use the coupon code in the top of my description down below for 20% off. Now let's get back to a cozy day at my cottage. I love doing things that make me feel cozy and relaxed in the morning. And most days that means making a hot tea and sitting by the window to watch the sun rise over our garden. One of the things that allows me to live like this is to do more DIY projects at home. Many of the things that other people spend a lot of money on and have to work long hours at jobs in the cities to afford, I choose to make myself. Every week or so, I make my own homemade hair gel out of flax seeds. It's a simple recipe, just half a cup of flax seeds and three cups of water that I boil up until it thickens and then I strain it through a nut milk bag. It kind of looks like slime, but it makes an amazing hair moisturizer and gel. And instead of spending about $100 a month on hair gel, which is what it would cost me in the stores, I instead spend about $3 on flax seeds each month. I follow the curly girl method and making my own hair products is the best way I found to care for my long curly hair. To some people, my life might seem boring, but honestly, I like it that way. I live a very slow, intentional lifestyle and spend most of my time at our cottage or out in nature. I specifically chose this type of life because it's low stress and it's a lifestyle that I've been cultivating now for over a decade. From living in a cabin on a river in Canada to a tiny home in Sweden and now at our cottage in the Danish countryside. I also love making my own simple vegan food at home. We don't live anywhere near restaurants and if we wanted to go out to buy vegan food, we would need to drive an hour or more. So we make everything from scratch at home. Doing this allows us to spend more time at our cottage and we get to eat delicious, healthy, homemade meals. And one of my favorite recipes right now is banana pancakes. I just take a couple of bananas, peel them and mash them in a bowl with some almond milk, vanilla and cinnamon. I blend up all of my own oat flour, mix it together and put it on a pan to cook. 
and they definitely don't look like traditional pancakes, but honestly, it doesn't really matter to me what my food looks like as long as it tastes good, and these are delicious. Adding a little, or in my case, a lot of maple syrup makes them perfect. Though I live really simply, I still need money to survive. So I've been working on my art behind the scenes and I'm preparing to open my Etsy shop soon to sell all of my pieces. I've been an artist my whole life and I've even sold some of my pointillism paintings in the past, but this is the first time that I've actually gotten up the courage to share my paintings publicly. And my hope with it all is that I'll be able to work from home in my studio and be self-sufficient here at our cottage with both my videos and my art. I love adding moody skies and moons to my paintings and the little piece I'm working on now will eventually have mountains and it'll look like the textured moons in some of my other paintings. It brings me so much joy to create art, whether it's a physical painting or my videos for YouTube, and I'm really grateful that I get to pursue this path. But the best part of this lifestyle is the time we get to spend in nature. We live near the ocean and Pepsi and I head down to the water a few times each week to walk along the beach and watch the sunset. Being in nature, even if it's only for a couple of hours each day, it makes me feel so happy and at peace. It's when I'm out in the forest or on the beach like today that I begin to slow down and really focus on the little things around me. It allows me to soak up each moment, like listening to the birds chirping or watching the waves lap into shore. And most of all, seeing Pepsi's happy face while he sniffs all of the new smells. And it makes me feel grateful for the fact that we've created a life outside of the city, one where we have the time to actually enjoy the nature around us instead of spending hours commuting to work, sitting in an office in the concrete jungle and spending money on material things that we just don't need. This simple life that we've created here isn't the norm, but the time it's given us to focus on the things that are important to us, like following our dreams and basking in the simple moments that most people brush past in their busy lives is something that we look forward to each day. And that's our cozy cottage life out here in the Danish countryside. We've been living here for over two years now and I can't wait to share more of my journey with you.